43% of American voters use voting machines that researchers have found have serious security flaws, including back doors. I actually held a demonstration for my colleagues here at the Capitol um, where we brought in um, folks who, before our eyes, hacked election machines, um, those that are not, those that are being used in many states. I think it's also critical to understand that, as I've been telling candidates who have come to see me, you can run the best campaign, you can even become the nominee, and you can have the election stolen from you. I continue to think that our voting machines are too vulnerable. For researchers have repeatedly de demonstrated that ballot recording machines and other voting systems are susceptible to tempering. Even hackers with limited prior knowledge, tools, and resources are able to breach voting machines in a matter of minutes. I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows that there were a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out the way it did, and I take responsibility for those parts of it that I should. It's like applying for a job and getting 66 million letters of uh, recommendation and losing to a corrupt human tornado. In 2018, electronic voting machines in Georgia and Texas deleted votes for certain candidates or switched votes from one candidate to another. The biggest seller of voting machines is doing something that violates cybersecurity 101, directing that you install remote access software which would make a machine like that you know, a magnet for fraudsters and hackers. And so I know that he knows that this wasn't on the level. I don't know that we'll ever know everything that happened, but clearly we know a lot and are learning more every day, and history will probably sort it all out. In a close presidential election, they just need to hack one swing state, or maybe one or two, or maybe just a few counties in one swing state. You could easily hack into them. It makes it seem like all these states are doing different things, but in fact, three companies are controlling them. The American people deserve to know whether Donald Trump is either A, a legitimate president, B, a Russian asset, C, the functional equivalent of an organized crime boss, or D, just a useful idiot who happens to have been victimized by the greatest collection of coincidences. He says in this new book just out today that the Russian attack did sway the election, that Donald Trump would not be president but for that attack. And he says the Trump campaign helped in the attack. Trump knows he's an illegitimate president who got illegitimate foreign help. Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. He did not win the election without help from Russia. You will see this, and he knows he's illegitimate. Every time you mention it, he freaks out. It is the individual voting machines that some pose, that pose some of the greatest risks. There are a lot of states that are dealing with antiquated machines, right, which are vulnerable to being hacked.